Hey guys, surprisingly, I am back with a Project Life Process video only because some of you have messaged me through my Instagram account that you do miss my Project Life Process videos. And since my October Citrus Twist Kit is coming in tomorrow, I thought, hey, might as well finish up my June Citrus Twist Kit. Yes, I am way behind on my Citrus Twist Kits. So I'm trying to be more conscious of that. Therefore, I should get back into Project Life soon so I can use those kits. So on this particular photo, oh, before I forget, I'm only doing one layout in this video, and these photos consist of my time. I did a Euro trip back in 2005 when I was 16 years old. Yes, 16, I know. I will talk about that later. So I do add those C'est la vie chipboard letters to spell out hashtag British. And since I don't have enough letters to spell out museum, I thought might as well use one of my alpha stamps because I've been neglecting those as well. So I do stamp museum on top of that particular label. And man, this kit, this June kit, I, ugh, there is so many labels. So you will see a lot of labels in this particular layout. And that is pretty much it for that photo. So here is a way better photo of the front part of the British Museum. I do add one of the L Studio Sunny Days ephemera, which, um, it was kind of hard to use some of those ephemeras because it was very summery. So I know this is during the summer. This was during, like, June 2005. Like, I was in Europe for 17 days. So, um... It was a bit difficult to use some of those ephemeras. So I do add that cork right underneath that picture perfect. And it says best day ever. And I finally do use these on trend 2 enamel dots I've been hoarding. Because they are just so pretty. But they are part of the kit. So might as well just use them. And for this particular 3x4 card. I do add those blue puffy arrows. Because I had this idea to make that center part look like a sun so in between the arrows i do add those really tiny enamel dots and that is pretty much it for that three by four card and prior to doing this layout i try to look for information on some of these artifacts but thankfully or fortunately i did find information on this particular one but i won't um talk about it because there is some words that I will probably have a hard time pronouncing. So I do pause sometime after I'm done with this particular photo so you guys can read it yourself. So I know you guys are wondering, 16 years old, you're up. Hmm, that, that must be a nice family trip, to, you know, going at 16. No, no, it wasn't a family trip, sadly. My mom has this thing where when your child is at a certain age, they should learn how to travel by themselves. So it was pretty much my initiation slash late belated sweet 16 birthday. So or birthday gift, I should say. So it was a bit scary. But um, it, it actually wasn't so bad. It just just being in Europe was very surreal for me. And at 16, whew, I wasn't able to get to do the things that I, I was able to do things that I wouldn't be able to do in the States, like going to clubs. I, I went to my first club in Florence, Italy, and that was wild. And thankfully, nothing bad happened. But um, in, uh, I think, Venice, Italy, I almost went to another club, but I decided not to. So I really, that was one thing I was really smart about. <laughs> I, I try to be conscious of what I do and where I go. Um, I try to focus more on just um, museums and, you know, history. Just the history of parts of the particular cities I went to. So I did go to six different countries. The UK, France, Switzerland. Italy, Austria, and Germany. So yes, 70 days. Whew, that was hectic. <laughs> so I do my journaling on this card and add this gold foiled washi tape that I got from Freckled Fawn in one of my blooper bundles. And just wrote about how it was... Um, I think I really talked about more of the British Museum, not the overall trip. So I do add that 
wood veneer heart and that's pretty much it i could not find any information on this particular 3x4 photo so i just added um one of the informations I found, like Room 23, Greek and Roman sculptures, and that is pretty much it for this 3x4 card. And yes, I did misspell sculptures, so I do correct that, and that is pretty much it for that photo. And so for this photo, I couldn't find information on these particular artifacts as well, so I do add this blue and white washi tape that i've had for quite a while i bought this from joann's from like the dollar section from studio 112 i believe and i add that joy puffy stickers on underneath or on the bottom part of that photo and just added that blue heart and there was this manila tag in the kit so i'm like well might as well use it um i i'm not very fond of plain tags like manila plain white tags there's no pattern on it it makes me not want to use it but um it gives it interest a bit especially when there's already a pattern paper right underneath it so in this photo i didn't really do much i added this somewhat label or tab and added an arrow because there is another photo of it but you won't see it in this video and that is pretty much it for this layout and i will be showing you the first page the, the title page which i use the august citrus twist kit and this is just outside way bef like right before we went into the british museum so it came out okay not bad and here is the page that i did the process video for so that is pretty much it for this process video and I will see you guys in the next video. So bye guys.